Hey guys, what's going on? Today, part three of the Gretsch fret leveling job. And as you can see, I got the neck all masked off now. Um, I'm going to take a Sharpie now and mark all of the frets so that when I go to level them off, basically when all the Sharpie's gone, I know I'm done. So to do that, of course, you just need a Sharpie. And I'm just putting a mark right across the top. There's no reason to have to color the whole entire fret. Uh, just one's good and it doesn't have to be black you can use blue green red whatever so just like this that one's already marked and then like I said what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice flat block um, I'm going to cut it down just a little bit I have a whole bunch of super flat sanding blocks at work that I know will work for this. And so I'm gonna grab one of those and I'm probably gonna grab some like 400 grit because I don't wanna take off, like I wanna take off minuscule, tiny, tiny amounts off of these frets. Uh, no way do I wanna like put like 80 grit on and just start grinding away. I wanna take off basically the thickness of this ink <laughs> that I'm putting on here. And that's it. Um, and then I will go back when I'm done and check it with my fret rocker again, like I said, and uh, and then start the polishing. Uh, let me go over some of the stuff that I have for polishing. Uh, some of this I've used and some of this I haven't. I have these deals. These are fret guards that you can put on and then polish your fret without uh, damaging your neck or having the mask and having to mask everything off and it's got all different sizes so this is the large size medium jumbo frets I guess you'd call it which is what are on here which is one of the reasons I really like the guitar because I like to have I like big frets on my guitars or tall frets either way and these are made by Music Nomad I have a bunch of stuff from Music Nomad um, I got their little kit and I kind of follow loosely their rules for adjusting guitars. I think they work works out pretty nice. Anyway, I also have these are fret erasers, and I have everything from 180 grit all the way to I think it's 20,000 grit or something like that. 20,000, 2,000. This one right here which is hard to read now because it's been used a bunch of time. So anyway, from coarse, very coarse, to super fine. And basically these are like the texture of a regular eraser and they have um, grit in the that's impregnated in there. And so these are probably gonna last me for a super long time. I got these off of Amazon. I don't remember the, bre the, the brand. Oh, these are Baroque. So if they're not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> and then, and these I've used, like I said, and they work really good. But I also have, where is it? Some of this stuff here. This came with these. This is the frying fret polish from Music Nomad. I've not tried this yet. I'll probably, I might try this. Cleans and shines. I'll probably use it maybe last after I do the fret eraser part. Um, and then all that stuff comes with wiping cloths and stuff. So I have some of those. And then I have this for crowning my frets. And this is the Baroque uh, fret crown, diamond fret crowning file. And it has uh, three different sizes. You got your small, medium, and large. Um, the reason I got this over like a Stumac tool or whatever, like I said, this stuff's so expensive. Um, this was a, a more, I didn't, I just, I don't know, paying $70 or $65 for a fret file. Just seemed like a lot to me. Uh, these are about 30 bucks and it seems like a really good quality made tool. I mean, it's heavy. The diamonds inside look like good ones, just like the ones on my sharpening stones. Uh, not super, super heavy grit, so that's good. And uh, what else do I got? I think that's all I got for polishing. Oh, well, I might as well show you this too. I got this, um, I've used this a couple times already. This is a fret and dressing file. 
has a smooth side that you put down so when you're doing the sharp edges of your frets you can do it without um, scarring up your neck because the end that goes down is smooth so and you can get right in there and get those little sharp edges off of there which we're going to do with this guitar neck um, and this is um, a Stumac tool Sturt McDonald whatever you want to call it and I wanted to pay extra for that because um, I do believe that if you're going to buy a file you might as well spend a little extra money and get a really good one um, yeah that's pretty much it for for neck work tools that I have oh and then I showed you my straight edge and like I said that was I I Louise Louise same as this so really good decent tools decent tools um, and then I like to treat the wood on my neck with this stuff right here this is Dr. Duck's Axe Wax really good for putting on your neck uh, I'm not exactly sure what the oil is but um, it works really good it protects your frets it protects your fretboard it soaks in um, never dries which is nice um, gives you a nice slinky feeling on your guitar when you're playing it too so anyway and then this is just some Amazon random Amazon brand block that I use for supporting my neck so you don't need to have a super a whole lot of super fancy stuff I am gonna need to get more as I go uh, one of the things that I was thinking about is that I'll have to check once I get it all restrung and everything is if I'm gonna have to deepen the slots on my nut a little bit because the frets are going to be a little lower i may have to deepen those which will mean nut files nut files are super expensive and again if you want you want good quality files you're going to have to pay for them so anyway that's all i got for today um i hope you guys are enjoying this series if not turn off the tv get your family get outdoors toad sticker out.